On the afternoon of March 28th, the Santa Cruz Derby girls weren't playing at the Civic, knocking some rival team off the track, and they weren't practicing for their next bout, refining their jamming and blocking skills. Instead, they were doing something else they do really well, supporting their community. With the blood drive, this is one of the things that we could do to partner with the organization and kind of show our support. And it's not just a financial donation, but it's actually league members supporting that organization as well. Santa Cruz Derby Girls is a community. We try to give back as much as we are given from the community and we want to give back. Having so many of the girls give blood is just a, it's a wonderful thing and we so, we're so impressed with the team. I mean, that is a really community oriented team. The league was represented by skaters from all three league teams and non-skaters. My derby name is Emma S. Enforcer and I skate for the Harbor Hellcats. I'm Fresh Meat Claudia. My derby name is Crouching Cougar. I'm a DDH and I'm actually on the board. I'm the treasurer. Mojo Vixen. I'm Shamrock and Roller and I skate for the Boardwalk Bombshells. My derby name is Hustle and Flow. Blood drives like this one highlight another critical need in our community. A need that exists 24-7, 365. And while many people do step up, the demand for blood in Northern California is much greater than what is given. We import, as they say, bring in from other parts of the country 40% uh, of the blood that we use at times at hospitals. And that's because people here, uh, there's plenty of us, but not everybody's trying to give blood. It doesn't take much time. It's practically painless, and it can mean so much. And since the American Red Cross holds drives like this on a regular basis throughout the county, there should be a drive and location that will fit your schedule. The Red Cross is in the Santa Cruz area three or four times a month. We're all throughout the community, Alpatos and Capitola. We come on the first Thursday and the third Wednesday of every month to the LDS Church in Santa Cruz. And if you can't give blood, give your time or your money. The Red Cross needs people to give blood, to give money, and to give time. You know, it, with volunteers here at the Blood Drive, there are volunteers who respond to the house fires, and it's not all staff. I think 96% of the Red Cross is, is made up of volunteers. The American Red Cross, just one of the many organizations that the Santa Cruz Derby Girls helps annually through their Community First organization. And hopefully this will open up options to league members and to our fans of like, oh, hey, this is something that we can do to support the American Red Cross. And I think it's something everybody should do. I think if you're going to just, you're going to replenish your blood supply, you might as well give it away for someone who needs it. I totally encourage other people to do this. Um, yeah, it's been great. So many people who need our blood, like we need to contribute if we're healthy and strong somebody else isn't and we should help out. My first time ever donating blood and um, it was I was nervous but now I'm not. It was pretty easy. We're part of the community and um, I feel it's our duty. By working together nonprofits and the Santa Cruz Derby Girls can leverage each other's audiences to raise money for important causes and spread the word about our community's local philanthropies.